Hey guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here, and I want to give you a demonstration of the just released Google Chrome official beta, show you how fast it works compared to Firefox and Safari. So before we get to any sort of speed test, I want to show you the speed of my internet so you can tell that this is a relatively fast connection, at least you can get a bit of perspective uh, for how quickly or not quickly these pages load. So here is the speed test, um, relatively quick, and I did this in Firefox, but the internet speed will be the internet speed. So I'm going to go ahead and quit this. And I'm going to open up and launch Chrome from a completely uh, cold launch. It's only been opened up one time before, and it's been completely quit. Uh, no pages have been cached in it whatsoever. Let's go ahead and open it up. And it launched pretty quickly. We'll go ahead and pick up technobuffalo.com. It did launch uh, very quickly. I had a previous version of uh, a developer preview for for Chrome, but uh, you can see that it does launch very quickly. It's got the very typical Chrome look with uh, the tabs up top, uh, very minimal. What's missing here is any sort of real uh, bookmark manager. There's not that much that you can do other than just bookmark pages. Um, that's one of the things that Google has said should be coming with another uh, version of the beta. So it definitely is one feature that's missing. So let's compare speed-wise now to uh, Firefox. See, Firefox takes much longer to load up. Chrome was almost instantaneous. We'll try technobuffalo.com. It's a very informal test here. And this has, of course, already been cached on the page. So let's close both these. I'm not going to quit. We're going to see how quickly they load again, and we're going to load Technobuffalo one more time now that they've both been stored uh, in cache. So open up Firefox. Much quicker that time. We'll open up Chrome. Pretty close to instantaneous. Open up Techno Buffalo. And we'll hit up Techno Buffalo on Firefox. It's not a monster difference speed wise. Certainly, I've been on the clock next to either. Just wanted to give you a quick shot of the speed. Uh, let's try Safari and see how quickly that loads as well. Safari takes a bit long to load from a, uh, a cold launch, especially on, on my iMac, which is uh, pretty powerful, you know, 4 gigs of RAM, um, nice, uh, relatively modern Core 2 Duo processor. Let's go ahead and load up uh, technobuffalo.com. So not too bad. I'm going to try putting all three next to each other, and I'm going to refresh the page in order, and we'll see if we can get a sense of... Uh, any speed at all, though it's not going to be at the same time, certainly, because of all these sizes. Again, very informal testing here. Okay, so we've got Firefox, Safari, and we have Chrome. Let's go ahead and um, do a, a refresh on all of these, and um, we'll see what it looks like. So I'll go Chrome, Firefox, and Safari, and we'll see what the final order is. I'll try and go as fast as I can. So they all loaded um, pretty quickly. It looks like Firefox is actually still refreshing the page. Um, the other two loaded uh, much faster. So it goes to show you, uh, Firefox may be a bit of a lag in OS X. Well, let's go back to uh, back to Chrome since that's the new one. Let's take a look at how it handles some uh, video playback. So we'll go to uh, YouTube. Certainly, if, if you're watching this, you obviously do a lot of uh, YouTube viewing. So I'll go ahead and just sort of... Uh, Pick so generic video. Um, place things just fine. Let's see if we can find any sort of um, HD video. And certainly HD playback is going to be uh, varied pretty directly by your, your hardware. Um, but this does work pretty well. If you've got a more low-powered Mac, an older Mac, for example, um, I think Chrome is probably going to be a pretty good option for you to get maximum speed um, out of your older processor. If you're running more and more modern machine, you're probably not going to experience that big speed increases. But if you just like something different, uh, Chrome really works quite well, um, and it's a very quick browser. Um, I've only had it the official beta for just a few hours, but I was using the developer preview for a while with uh, a, a lot of use, and it was 
pretty stable and reliable. So you can go ahead and uh, download this. I will uh, put a link in the sidebar if you want to go ahead and download the beta. And if you want some more information on features and such, uh, check out the other link in the sidebar to go to uh, Techno Buffalo. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.